That is your subconscious, your habits that just says, No! I want the chips! I want the chips and the comfort and the Netflix and the social media. You're gonna do that because it's easy and you'll get a dopamine hit easy. You have to be conscious of that. Hello everyone, welcome to Thank You Universe, Healing for the Modern Mind. So, I just had some thoughts for you all today on how to change because, you know, I'm always trying to change and improve myself and I'm watching so many videos and reading so many books to try and create the life for myself that I want to live and create the state of being for myself that I want to live. So. Um, I've been listening to this monk recently that I found, Dandapani, I think that's what his name is. I don't know a whole lot about him, but his truth has been resonating with me a lot. Uh, it is a windy day out today. It's a gloomy, windy day. The weather's been really sporadic lately. So Dandapani, what he talks about is consciousness and your ability to focus. So a lot of people they can't change their lives, they end up doing the same things over and over because they can't focus. And the key really is your ability to focus or be in the moment and not be distracted by other thoughts going on whirling around in the subconscious. Because our subconscious is a very habitual machine. This is kind of what Don Dapani was getting at. The subconscious is about habits, like these things that we train and ingrain in ourselves. It's kind of like a, let's say, a program that we have. So the program is, I want to feel good and happy and content, so, and comfortable. So you don't change the things that you do because it's easier to just do the same old thing that you have been doing. Whereas the conscious mind is a creative machine, it's the machine that can actually change things. But for many of us in the distraction culture of today's world where we live in, we've got infinite entertainment, infinite Netflix, infinite junk food, you know, so long as you've got the paper. <laughs> and a lot of people don't have a lot of attention or focus these days, and I believe I heard something, you can look up the study, but our attention span, human attention spans have now on a general trend, so this isn't for everyone, but the average is less than the attention span of a goldfish. <laughs> so we can't pay attention for longer than a goldfish, so we have no focus and we have no concentration. And that's why a lot of people have so much trouble changing their lives, and that's why it takes such determination to actually make a change. Because the subconscious is just like, I need to eat food and feel comfy and not challenge myself and push myself harder because I want to remain in this state of homeostasis where I'm comfortable and happy. And so, let's say you have plans to work on a new project and you're like, okay, today when I get home from work or I get home from school or I get home from wherever, I get home from my journeys, like, adventuring in a different galaxy on a spaceship. I'm going to work on this project. And so you have your day and then your day takes amounts of energy from you and then you get home and you intended to work on this project but you don't have as much energy left to concentrate and so you do the easy thing. You're like, you know what? I'm just gonna go on YouTube and eat some chips, <laughs> or I'm gonna watch some TV, or I'm just gonna go to sleep, I'm gonna take a nap. Because you lose focus of your goal, and having this focus has a lot to do with your willpower, which ties always back to meditation, which I'm working on to try and have more conscious focus and awareness in the present moment. So that's something that I feel like everyone can benefit from is meditation and I'm not the first person to say this. There's lots of people who have a lot more articulate ways to say you should meditate than I do. But meditation helps you to stay in the present moment. It's training your brain to concentrate. And so what Don Dapani says concentration is, 
is the ability to keep your conscious awareness focused on uh, an object, let's say a person or an object of your choosing and to keep it there. So a lot of people want to say, okay, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna do this project from this time to this time and I'll be completely focused and I'll do it. But that's not what ends up happening because their consciousness isn't that strong. Their will to stay focused is not that strong because we live in this instant gratification culture where everything's trying to grab our attention like, whoa, what's going on over there? I have this project to work on. Holy shit, there's Netflix. I have this project to work on. Oh my god, some fucking fast food taco sounds bomb as fuck right now. And so we get distracted and we are training ourselves to be distracted because we're distracted so often we get really good at it, basically. And so we don't have the will to keep our uh, focus on the things that we say we want to do. So we have these ideals in our head, like, I want to work on this project, or start a business, or start a YouTube channel, or start writing a song, or creating an art, or <laughs> creating an art. Yes, everyone should spend more time creating an art. <laughs> but my point is, people have these ideas of what they want to do, and it's easy in a moment to say, oh, that would be great, but to actually focus and get yourself set on the task of doing it is a completely different task in and of itself because it's actually doing it over a sustained period of time. And that's why meditation helps you. When you focus on just your present state and on the breath, you're strengthening your mind. It's like exercising, it's like dance, it's like working out in the gym, it's like martial arts. You train it, you train the muscle of your brain. So meditation is training your will to stay focused. And the more you do it, the more you can stay focused and take that into other areas of your life and say, you know, I'm working on this piano piece that I've been working on and even though it's boring and it's... <laughs> I'm getting bored. Not that it's boring in and of itself, but I'm getting bored because I've been doing it for a while and I'd rather just go hop on the couch and eat some chips. I'm gonna keep on focusing and focus through and complete my goal. And so, to change, you really have to focus <laughs> and have that sustained focus. And it gets harder over, or it gets easier over time, but it's hard if you first start out and you're just like, I really don't want to do it because one, you haven't done it before, it's something you're not practiced with, and two, you haven't seen the rewards of the unknown yet. You're not comfortable knowing because Trying something new, like let's say you hate your job and you want to quit and start your own business. You haven't done that yet. So you don't know if the reward will be there. So you don't have that um, internalized motivation cycle in your brain yet. Like your brain doesn't know that there's going to be a reward, a dopamine hit on the end of this journey because sustained focus takes work. And work is not something that people like doing. It's not something that the body likes doing. And um, that just makes me want to go into <laughs> talking about how the body and the mind are not the same. So the body is habitual and it wants its needs met and it'll send your brain signals and then your mind will think, oh I'm hungry, I want comfort, I want to do this, I want to be lazy, I don't want to work. And you can use your consciousness and ability to stay present and will to get over those desires that are trained in your subconscious, the habits that you have trained in your subconscious. So when that comes along and you say, oh, you know, I'm tired, so I want to not focus on this, that's when you can keep your intent focused. And instead of going to those distracting thoughts, you go to the thoughts of what you want to be doing and you say no I'm gonna focus on this task like I set out and said that I was going to focus to and so your consciousness is not your mind your body is not your mind you are not your mind and you're not your body but you are consciousness itself that's um, Don Dapani I'm pretty sure he was talking about that it was him or some other monk on the internet you know 
And so you can take your consciousness and focus it where you want to be. Instead of focusing on the distractions, on your momentary discomforts, like yes, it'll still be there, just like when you meditate, the whole world is still there, but it's not what you're focusing on, you're just focusing on your breath. So instead of focusing on your breath in meditation, when you're taking action to achieve the goal for the productive or creative thing, endeavor that you want to work on, whatever your project is, you focus on that project instead. Basically, it's just honing your ability to focus on things without getting distracted because people, I'd say a lot of us have a tendency to overestimate our ability to focus. In a lot of ways, we're not congruent with ourselves and we can kind of lie to ourselves. Like we say, you know, okay, I'm totally just gonna party tonight and fuck it, forget the goals I had for tonight. I'll party tonight and then I'll be good to do it tomorrow. After I get this out of my system, I'll be good to do it tomorrow. But you're not getting it out of your system and then tomorrow comes and you're like, I want to say fuck it again today and just party or just chill and watch Netflix or sleep or nap. Whatever, whatever our vices are, whatever our distractions are, or spending all day scrolling on social media. So because the night before, you practice being distracted and you got better at it. It's not actually catharsis. Sometimes people think they just need to get it out of their system and it's like, oh, just one more time. This is something that I've been really, really bad at. Just to put myself on blast, um, when it comes to cannabis, I think weed's great. It can help a lot of people in a lot of ways. But for me, it became a big hindrance because I couldn't do what I wanted to do. And so I'd say, oh, let me just smoke weed this one more time to have like a good like goodbye to weed and then I can focus and it's it just hasn't worked out it's like how many times have you told yourself this is gonna be the last time of whatever it is you're gonna do whether it's last time eating junk food this month this is the last fucking Big Mac I'm ever gonna eat and then after that it's health nothing but health food for me it's kind of lying to yourself because on some level you know that that's not gonna work for you. You, If you want a Big Mac today, it's just gonna make you want a Big Mac tomorrow. Because that shit is hella addictive, but that's a whole other topic. It's just you, whatever you do, you're training that repetition. You're getting the reps in. It's like anything you practice. If you're proficient or you practice anything, then you know what I'm talking about with the repetition. Whether it's martial arts or music or art or dance or any number of creative outlets, you gotta get the reps in. So in life, people are practicing the repetition of being distracted over and over by saying, oh, let me put it off till tomorrow. I want the rewards of comfort and pleasure and homeostasis right now that I'm used to. When you say that, you are just adding another repetition to that sort of action. And that's why it's so challenging to get out of that subconscious cycle, that habitual cycle, and just pull it out and say, no, I'm gonna use my focused willpower and not do that, and I'm gonna power through and do this new task that I'm not used to doing that's harder for me because I don't have any reps in or I don't have as much repetitions in and I'm gonna do that. It's really hard, especially starting out because you haven't had your repetitions and you haven't had your practice. And so you have all these factors in you, your body, your mind, your subconscious that wanna take you to that level of comfort, which is just doing the same things that you have always done instead of doing the thing you said you were gonna do. And I find a motivating factor is actually trying to be accountable of yourself and conscious, it's all about consciousness, of what you say you want and what your goals are. And you know when you're not pursuing your goals and you know when you're like down in the dumps and giving up on your goals and saying, no, I just want momentary pleasure so it can be easy you'll lose respect for yourself. And that probably, I'm just like thinking out loud, but that probably leads to things like depression and anxiety, like not respecting yourself. When you say, I'm gonna do this thing and it's gonna make my life better, and then you end up doing the same old shit that you said you weren't gonna do anymore, you'll lose respect for yourself because you're not being congruent to your word. You're not being honest even with yourself. 
And if you're not honest with yourself, how are you going to be honest with anyone else? And how are you going to be a congruent person and achieve the goals that you want to? You're not. And so you'll lose respect for yourself. It came to this moment um, for me where I had the choice between doing the same old thing. So I have my goals, my projects I want to work on, like starting a YouTube channel and just relaxing and chilling after a long day of work or a long day of school. And I had told myself, okay, you're doing it today. And then my subconscious, my habits tried to rationalize, oh, but I'm so tired, there's no way I can do it. I want to just relax and not worry about it and maybe just like eat some chips, <laughs> watch a movie and then go to bed. But I said to myself in my mind, not so much in words, it was like a knowing I had from being consciously aware, I will lose respect for you if you do that. I will lose respect for you and then I could see myself in the future if I had gone the habitual way and done the same old nothing that I said I'm not going to do and just relaxing and not using my time the way that I would want to ultimately is my highest goal and I saw myself doing that and I thought I would not even be able to enjoy that because I would know the whole time I had lost respect for myself because I said I'm not going to do this. So being conscious of that sort of thing is really important because a lot of people will distract themselves completely so they can't even see that. So it's like, instead of recognizing, hey, I said I was going to do this, but here I am distracting myself with something, my habitual comforts, they don't even think that. They just let themselves delve into the habitual comforts and the eyes glaze over, the consciousness is not there. You're more like... Um, you're subject to your subconscious, you're subject to your habits, and you're not thinking about your higher goals. You're literally just going through emotion. It's almost like you're not there, you're kind of on autopilot. And so a lot of people get on this habitual autopilot, so you really have to make yourself accountable and just look inside yourself. You'll know the ways to make yourself accountable. There's got to be something, and everyone has their point when they start turning around well, everyone can have this point, and you can too. Like, I believe in you, I did it, you can do it, let's do this. But you can have that point where you, whatever that factor is, whether it's telling yourself, I'm just going to lose respect for you, and I'm not even going to enjoy what I'm doing, because I'll just be thinking the whole time, I said I was going to be working on this project while I'm trying to uh, watch a movie or something. And so you have to be accountable to yourself and say, no, I'm going to do what I said I'm going to do and I'm not going to let myself go on autopilot and be distracted because it's so easy to get sucked into this habitual cycle and that's why a lot of people, I've seen like, you know, you see it, I'm sure you know a lot of people who give up on their dreams and it's like they're not living life, they're, depra uh, they're sad, they're depressed, they're anxious because they're not living their ideal life and come on, the planet is waking up, consciousness is raising, vibration is raising, everyone's going to start living their ideal, idealized lives and that is, that's an ideal that I have that I feel and hope that this experience on this planet is going towards where everyone starts becoming more conscious and pursuing their goals. I'm getting kind of rambly so I want to finish up pretty soon but you have to be accountable to yourself and do whatever it is whether it's writing a sticky note on your wall like maybe you watch too much TV and that's a distraction for you so you write a sticky note hey you said you weren't gonna watch TV so if you take off this sticky note I'm going to lose respect for you, or whatever it is. Um, I haven't really thought of a whole lot of exercises like that to do, but I'm sure you can brainstorm and figure something else out that's more specific to you that'll work for you, because you know your life way better than anyone else. So you've got to be accountable to yourself. So to change, you have to have the conscious willpower to take action towards your idealized goal and have the sustained focus, which you can improve through meditation and mindfulness. 
and actually doing that and being conscious of this huge monster it's not a monster you can think of it like that that is your subconscious your habits that just says no i want the chips i want the chips and the comfort and the netflix and the social media you're gonna do that because it's easy and you'll get a dopamine hit easy you have to be conscious of that and be accountable to yourself so you know that you're in that situation so you can say no I'm not going to be subject to autopilot mode. I'm not going to be subject to my subconscious habits. I am becoming more conscious and I'm going to be the conscious creator that I want to be to achieve my goals and to work on those projects that I want to work on. So those are some of the thoughts that I was having today. I'm really glad that I got to chat with you all today. Much love to all my ally, ally, allies out there. Go ahead and like this video if you like this video. Please subscribe to our channel because it's fucking awesome. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace.